This is the 17th video in our series looking at how to set up a Google Nest Wi-Fi network. One of the main reasons for creating a home network is to share resources like the internet or a printer with other devices on our network. However, in order for us to create this network of devices, we need to ensure that each device on our home network is given something called an IP address. As the IP address is used by our Google Nest Wi-Fi network, will typically consist of a series of numbers, you can think of an IP address as being the computer equivalent to a telephone number. However, just like a telephone number, in order for our IP addresses to work, the addresses will need to come from a series of unique numbers. This is partly because IP addresses tell a device which network they're part of, but it's also because on a network, no two devices can use the same IP address. So to make managing IP addresses easier, built into our Nest Wi-Fi router is something called DHCP. DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is simply a service that will manage a pool of IP addresses. Then when we connect a device to our home network, DHCP will automatically assign that device with an IP address from its pool. DHCP will then keep track of which addresses have been assigned to which devices to ensure that there are no address conflicts. The type of IP addresses assigned by DHCP are known as dynamic IP addresses. This is because an IP address will only be temporarily issued to a device while it's connected to our home network. So when we remove a device from our home network, the IP address that it is using will be returned to the DHCP address pool. This means that when using dynamic IP addresses, if a device on our home network goes offline, or our Google Nest Wi-Fi router is restarted, there's no guarantee that a device will receive the same IP address that it previously had. While this is not a problem for most of the devices connected to our home network, for something like a printer, which needs to always use the same IP address, using an address assigned by DACP has the potential to prevent our printer from printing. This is because when we install printer drivers, a specific IP address will be hard-coded into the driver to tell it to send print jobs to a specific IP address. So if the IP address of our printer has changed, because the printer driver has no way of knowing the new IP address of our printer, it will continue to try and send print jobs to the wrong address. To get around this problem, we simply need to use something called a static IP address. As the name suggests, a static IP address is an address that is assigned to a device for it to permanently use. In other words, the IP address of our printer will never change regardless of whether our router's DHCP service or our printer has restarted. So in this video, we're going to assign a static IP address to our wireless printer using a feature built into our Google Nest Wi-Fi router called IP Reservation. While your wireless printer will probably be very different to ours, more than likely it will have some sort of wireless setup wizard. So first, we're going to ensure that our wireless printer is connected to our network using the printer's wireless setup wizard. As the wireless setup wizard will automatically force our printer to use an IP address assigned to it by DHCP, as long as our printer is connected to our home network, we can now switch over to the Google Home app and assign a static IP address to our printer. Let's first open the Google Home app and from within the home screen, select Wi-Fi. We're now presented with a panel that displays the status of our home network. If we select devices, we should be able to see a list of all of the devices that are connected to our network. However, if you do not see a list of devices, or the list looks out of date, you will need to enable a specific setting on your Nest Wi-Fi router. So if we return to the home screen, and then select Settings. From within Settings, we now need to choose the option Nest Wi-Fi. When the primary network panel opens, we need to locate and select the option Privacy Settings. Within Privacy Settings, we need to enable Nest Wi-Fi Cloud Services as it is via cloud services that we enable the monitoring service for our Nest Wi-Fi router. 
Let's now return to the home screen. If we once again select Wi-Fi, our device count should now be up to date with a list of all of the devices currently connected to our home network. Once we have confirmation that our printer is listed, we can return to the home screen. Now from the home screen, if we once again select Settings and then Nest Wi-Fi, when the primary network panel opens, we need to locate and choose Advanced Networking. Before we select DHCP IP Reservations, let's take a quick look at our DHCP settings by choosing LAN Settings. As you can see, our Google Nest Wi-Fi router is using the IP address of 192.168.86.1. Then we have a DHCP pool that starts at 192.168.86.20 and ends with 192.168.86.250. So as you can see, Google's engineers have built into the DHCP address pool a group of 19 IP addresses that we can assign to devices that need to have static IP addresses. This means that for our example, we're going to assign our printer with a static IP address of 192.168.86.2. If we now return to the Advanced Networking panel and select DHCP Reservations, as we currently have no DHCP reservations enabled, we need to select the Add button. We're now presented with a list of all of the devices connected to our Google Nest Wi-Fi network. From this list, if we select our printer, we are asked to assign our printer with a static IP address. So we will use the address 192.168.86.2 and then select Save. At the time of posting this video, it would appear that the Google Home app has a bug which makes it appear as if our printer has not been assigned a static IP address. However, if we once again select Add, as you can see, the Google Home app shows that we have assigned a static IP address to our printer. So let's try and select Save again. What we found is that the Google Home app is not refreshing this panel. So if we select OK, got it and then return to the Advanced Settings panel. If we now select DHCP IP Reservations, this panel will now have been updated and our printer is listed as using a static IP address. So with a static IP address now assigned to our wireless printer, we can install the print drivers onto any devices that we need to have print. So to summarize, in this video, we took a look at how you use the DHCP IP reservation function that is built into our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. We did this by first explaining what the difference is between a static and a dynamic IP address. We then ran through the settings that we need to change on our wireless printer before setting up and configuring a DHCP IP reservation on our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at an alternate way that we can assign a static IP address by trying to add a Synology NAS to our home network.